so we're out here in the yard. <clears throat> I'm going to attempt to show you and explain to you my sight picture when I'm shooting. I know there's a lot of different ways, but I shoot split and no sights. I used to shoot three under, and you can do that too, but I'm going to tell you exactly how I do it and how sometimes if you start getting inconsistent, you can reference your arrow. I shoot a long arrow and you can kind of get back on track and get your left and right back together but sometimes it's at closer ranges your shooting could suffer because if you're trying to pay attention to the gap if you're shooting split it's going to be like you're pointing that arrow in the ground up close so what you want to do is you get out in the yard and shoot your bow a lot Vern's back there licking his nuts wouldn't that be fun to do in the yard I won't mess with the camera and zoom in on him. You might be able to see him. But we're going to shoot a few arrows. Now let's just uh, uh, all assume that you have your bow tuned. We're not worried about bear shafting or none of that. First thing you want to do is turn your hat backwards. Because you got to, because I, that first finger it hooks right on my cheekbone. Middle finger is somewhat in the corner of my mouth, it's just slightly above. The way my face is shaped, it just hooks good in my cheekbone. Yours might not be like that. You might want to anchor somewhere else, but whatever you do, do it so it's cozy and don't do it like somebody else does it. So when I draw back, sometimes I'll get a deep hook in there, deep hook on the string, but when I start drawing back, I'll let my fingers slide up to about the halfway point in between your first crease and the tip of your finger. And you can't always do it all the time, but most of the time, if you shoot a lot, you can get a good release and everything goes like it should. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this. Let, let's just say we're out here at 50 yards. Let's shoot that deer right there. I'll hook, hook my finger on the cheekbone. Let's say we're out there at 50. That means my bow hand's going to come up and then all of a sudden that arrow comes into play. I'll put that arrow right on the heart and then total focus on what I want to hit and you let her go. Just for instance at 50 yards the point of my arrows it's blurry to me but I'm looking at the target it's probably like, I don't know, dead center in the lungs or something, but it's up there. You can't avoid it. It's there. Back at 70 and 80, heck, it's the point of your arrows. Let's see, right there. Like if I was going to shoot myself in the nose with that point, the point of the arrow is probably like way up there. And if you don't shoot without sights a lot, you'd be thinking like, what the hell am I even going to hit? So you gotta get out there and just trust trust where you're holding. Shoot a lot of arrows. And we're gonna do another one, just so you can see. But say, we're, we're about 15 yards right here. When I go to shoot, say, say, that, say this was a hunting situation. I'll just come back real slow and hook. And then maybe sometimes I'll do one of these. Raise up, reference where my left and right is, then look right right in the pocket and then she's dead and a mosquito bites me on the chin so my my second shot was right in the pocket where I wanted it so that's that's how I do it um, I'm just winging it here trying to think of tips for you guys when you're out in the yard jacking around when you're uh, when you are shooting, don't go crazy looking at other people thinking you got to lay your bow clear over. Just shoot it like you would be shooting a sight. Just draw it back and let your bow balance in your hand. My whole hand wraps around my bow, but I, I ain't just death gripping it. I don't like shooting an open hand. That just feels sloppy and floppy, and I just don't like it. Even my wife don't do that. She lays her hand around the grip, 
and she drills shooting right on the money. You guys are starting out and you're flustered. You know, you just don't think you're accurate. Don't move back any further because you're not going to get any better. Just stand up close here and shoot at any, anything other than like a bullseye. Like sometimes I'll shoot at them black dots on that block. I might start getting inconsistent because it's just repetitious and that's not real good for when you're trying to shoot with no sights. Shoot at the crease on the deer. Just imagine it as a real deer. Shoot at the nose on your deer target. Hell, just throw a plastic bottle out in the yard and shoot that thing. Shoot for the center of it, not the whole bottle. But every time you guys shoot, even I do it, I do it all the time. And it's because I need to pay attention to it more. Your bow arm. If you do this, you're just shooting, you're shooting at that, that target and you go like, See, I dropped my bow arm. That arrow flew like dog shit. That's what it flew, flew like. I'll stand out here and talk to myself because I'll get so flustered when I'm having a bad shooting day. You just can't drop your bow arm. Be confident where your arms tell, where your brain's telling your arm to hold. Get on your, get on the mark you want to hit, and just hold it for a second. If you're shooting a recurve, hold for a couple seconds. That arrow came out of that bow real straight. When I dropped my bow arm, that thing kind of it tail whipped out of there. So if, assuming you got your bow tuned, if you're getting bad arrow flight, it's probably because of your bow arm. Now, if you're shooting a no cam, Mal Matthews or a compound, whatever, and you got a drop away rest on there, that's one thing I liked about that because if you're shooting a drop away, as soon as you release that string and that rest starts dropping, there's no room for error anymore. The arrow is on its way. On your little flipper rest, you got the, the flipper arm and the side plate to contend with, so you got to really concentrate on keeping your arm dead steady. I know these are basic things. If you guys are being inconsistent, and I do it all the time too, but I try not to do it on deer or anything that I'm hunting because that makes for an even worse day. You need to work on steadying up that bow arm. Shoot a lot. And shoot often. And always make sure you're in tune. But I won't bore you with this anymore. You guys let me know if you want to see anything else. I'm going to mess around out here in the yard. Go, usually I'll go 10, 10 yards. And I'll go up in my tower up there and shoot. Uh, then I'll go way back yonder. Way back there where that 80 yard mark is. Right back in there. In between that tree and the house. I'll bomb a couple. You never know. You miss. I might end up back there until dark. Until I'm real consistent. But like every time I make a video. And I'm shooting back there. I always seem to hit the target. Most of the time. And kill that deer target. Well, hey, that's all I got for now. You guys keep shooting. If you have any questions, just ask me.